Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is number 30 video in my Windows Server 2016 tutorial and today in this video I am going to show you mapping network drives or share folder by using group policy on Windows Server 2016. So we all have um, a very challenging job to map the share folders or network drive on the end user computer uh, so, th so this is a um, whole big task how, how, how you can manage the network drives mapping or share folder mapping to the end user how you are going to approach that like a manual mapping or a script based mapping or a uh, some like login script uh, method so how you can manage it so group policies uh, provide a very easy mechanism or a way to map the network drive or shares to the end user where you can control the um, uh, mapping of the drive from central point and if you if you do some changes on a group policy it's immediately going to reflect all over the all over your client or network so it's very easy to manage from single point all your shares or mapping drives from a group policy so I'm going to take you to the drive uh, where I, we are going to create some folders then we are going to provide the security uh, security filtering there and the security NTFS uh, settings and there uh, when we are then we are going to do some like you can say some a mm, sharing uh, we are going to create some shares and security permission then we are going to map those drives from a group policy so here is my domain which is victimforsoul.com so let's move to next slide here you can see what is my demo environments look like so I have basically five virtual machine in this video the first vir virtual machine is win2k16 dc01 which is my active directory and DNS server you can see my domain name is victimforsoul.local so if I go here you can see win2k16 dc01 Active Directory and DNS server is running on this machine. So if you go on local server, you can see the domain name and um, my computer name. So this is my Active Directory server. And the second server I have, Win2K16 FS01. This is my file server basically, where I'm going to create some share folders and folder structure. Then we are going to map the those shares with uh, group policy so this is my file server you can say this is a simple uh, fresh new installed virtual machine uh, which I have just joined to my domain and can after configuring the IP address so this is a brand new machine but you can see I have a D drive here on my FS01 which is file server and I have four folder created here first folder called CEO the second is HR so third one is IT and the last one is public so basically this folder is uh, going to hold all the data which is available for CEO and CEOs and this is for HR and the last one for IT so this is the folder for the respective departments only so uh, it means if if someone is a member of um, um, uh, uh, in a part of CEO he is going to access this file if someone is a part of HR he is going to access these files get the access and this is for IT and public where we can all access these shares so I'm going to show you how we can create a share folder so before starting with that I have three virtual machines here which is running Windows 8.1 and all in my domain you can see this is win win to uh, win 8 hyphen cl01 and this is mm, hyphen uh, CL02 and this is my last machine which is hyphen CL03 so what I'm going to do let's start what I'm going to do very first way I'm going to click on my AD and I'm going to create some groups where I can map the users and we can basically provide a users group so I'm going to first create a one group called uh, shared access and before it I'm going to put my uh, name which is CEO so this is group for act providing access for CEO folder and next we have a group HR and the last one we have a group called IT so I'm going to create one more here ID so now I'm going to give access to these uh, like uh, add a member of these group four going to access these uh, part of this member so on CU I'm going to use add my user 01 and 
this is my user 0 to I'm going to give access here uh, user 0 to and on the last ID I'm going to give access to my user 0 3 I give an access so if you see here if I open a command prompt simply you can see this is my user 0 and so CL01 is my user 01 and CL02 is my user 02 and the last one is CL03 is my user 03 user zero. so this this is going to get access for CEO and this is going to get access for HR the last machine is going to get access for um, um, uh, IT as the basis of this group so which we have just added the member so it's depend how you create a group and then you need to add the respective users with that group which you want to give access so I have created this and now what we need to do here in a folder right click and I'm going to click on properties so the first thing I'm going to share this folder so in a permission I'm going to allow for share permission I'm going to allow for everyone so everyone can uh, see the share and access the share but in a security I'm going to restrict by only by allowing the CU uh, uh, group to um, have access on this group so first thing I'm going to add my CEO group here which is CEO shared access and I'm going to give the full access to them and click OK and now I'm going to click on advanced so by default you can see all the administrator system these all accounts are going to have access but um, however you can see the administrator is never part of CEO so we need to make sure this so what I'm going to do I'm going to disable the inheritance and convert inherit permission and then what I'm going to do I'm going to remove administrator systems FS create owner and everything I'm just going to leave the CEO share folder which is required to access the CEO department so apply OK and same I'm going to do for my HR folder what I'm going to do I'm going to share this folder and in a security I'm going to add my HR group here it's added going to give full access and I'm going to remove everything only leave HR folder here so it's giving like okay we need to disable the inheritance copy and then we can remove it good to go click apply ok close the last folder is IT so I'm going to share this folder also so go here and give the permission so it's good and now in a security I'm going to add my IT group here which we have created in AD so everything looks good apply and just remove everything by disabling the inheritance so remove everything just leave our IT share folders so it's good on a public basically this is folder is required to access by all the users so what I'm going to do I'm going to give access to all the domain users so everyone can access so folder has been shared and now I'm going to add my domain users everyone is there I'm going to add apply now I'm going to disable the inheritance and going to leave only domain users oops uh, we need to go and remove 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 everything leave the domain user so ideally click OK if I click OK so basically what I have if I go from this machine and I, if I go to run and win 2k 16 fs01 I can see all the folders but I am going to have access on only folder which on which I have access like public or some like other folders so I have access to public and I have access to see you from this account if I go to click on HR or IT it's not going to open because I don't have permission and same if I go here from user 0 to and type win to k16 fs01 and you can see I have access to HR okay this account is so this is going to have access on HR and public only not access on CEO and IT so same way I'm going to check um, on my third machine 
access so it should access on IT and public or not on CEO or the HR which is not added to group so what I'm going to so what I have just showed you like uh, you must need to make sure you have a proper access you have given proper shared and um, security permissions rights to the users or a group which you want to map by GPO if, if the security of uh, uh, security permissions or the share permission is not going to match and allow the mapping then it's not going to map the drive from uh, sec uh, group policy so you have to make sure the mapping is happening correct and now what I'm going to do it's very simple let's move on and I'm going to open a group policy management here and I'm going to easily create a group here my uh, for example uh, you know like uh, you can apply the group policy on OU on a root, root folder so what I'm going to do I'm going to apply this policy on the root because I want this to happen on uh, all the users but if you want you can basically go on your sites or your uh, users folder and you can apply there also so I'm going to make it simple I'm going to apply on my root folder so the first thing I'm going to call it like the first group I'm going to copy the name simple and paste it and the CU under the CU access I'm going to click on edit and user settings preferences computer setting maps and here I'm going to click map drive and what I'm going to do I'm going to select the update and the path which I want to map so it should be for shells it should be shares uh, sorry CU and I'm going to map this drive uh, CEO and I'm going to map this drive as a O letter and click apply it's very simple and now let's create one more folder call it map drive and folder which you want to map it's my public folder for all the users so this is going to be a common for all the users so I'm going to copy this and paste it and I'm going to call it like public apply and select the P drive letter P and apply so same it's done for CEO and now I'm moving forward and create one GPO for a char and going to paste here and under that char I need to select one more thing you need to go here and remove the authenticated user and you need to add your group so I have add called CEO group so I'm going to add this so group is added and now go to HR and remove this authenticative user and add your HR access group so it's done now let's modify the HR so go to users preferences windows setting drive mapping Here you need to map the drive so the first drive you want to map HR drive which is coming for next up to machine in my scenario so put HR reconnect drive mapping letter give H and next is for us is P which is public folder so I'm going to copy this and paste it here and put it like public and the drive letter should be P apply so it's done for um, HR also and now the last one is IT so I'm going to copy this name from here and create a one new GPU for IT and remove this authenticated user and add here a IT group so looks good go and edit the uh, property now so confirmation windows drive mapping and go to drive mapping and folder which you want to map so the first folder should be IT which is my IT folder so I'm going to map it as a IT drive letter reconnect drive letter I'm going to assign I, I for IT and the second one is public so I'm going to the public now so it's a public yes reconnect and drive letter P so what I have done we have created three groups uh, three GPO one for IT 
and one for like uh, HR and one for CEO. And next time, if you and if you want to join any like any any user new joining is joining the IT company, you can simply go and add that user in a in uh, your IT group. So he will be automatically going to map all the folders which is available for IT department. So you just need to go and add this uh, group and add the user in a. Um, this group to map the automatically drive and next time the department the user which is belongs to the, uh, uh, the uh, destination department it's automatically going to map the all the drive which is available for that department so now let's uh, start for testing so what I'm going to do I'm going to log off here and log in back and see if the drives are getting mapped from GP or not so let's wait you can see the bills a small circle real which is showing like something is applying now you can see the CEO and a public folder is getting mapped from GPO and let's verify the same for others also so I'm going to log off from second user which is basically a HR department user so it's going to map the HR folders yeah yeah you can see it's HR and public is both are mapped and now let's do for IT users so it's going to map IT and public so let's open the yeah you can see that it's mapping the IT and public so you can verify we have all the all the GPU which we have created for respective user for drive mapping it's working working perfectly fine and now let's verify one more thing if you want to verify okay I want to give you some idea about how you can check it's applying or not you need to go to run and rsop.msc open it and it's going to open now all the group policy it's going to show you all the group policy which is going to apply for your account so it's not having access on this computer account so that's why it's given access denied but you are able to see all the policy which is applied for you so I'm going to click on users configuration properties you can see the CEO share folder access is coming for your of user 01 and let's verify the same for this so rsop.msc and computer we don't have access so this is the way you can verify exactly verify this GPU is not coming or not and this may help you in troubleshooting the uh, policies if it's not coming you can see HR is coming on second and last we have a IT computer where we can verify the IT so rsop.msc it's going to take some time so you can see it's uh, uh, available there so everything is looking good so this is all about the mapping network driver share folder by group policy on Windows Server 2016 so same way you can also use on Windows 2012 or 20, 2008 to map the share drives by using, the, um, by using the group policy so thank you for watching and Please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query, any question on this, you can post me directly on my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye-bye.